What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to <clears throat> for today's video, we're going to talk about money, money, money. So last time I posted my salary as a band five nurse here in the UK. And one of you asked how much is the cost of living, which I find timely and just the right content for my next video. So you already know that I live in the county of Somerset, town of Yeovil, and my wife and I have been here for at least six months now. And we are both working in theater. Since expenses generally are not the same, sometimes you buy things that you don't usually buy or sometimes we save on things and sometimes we just don't buy anything. So for today's content, what I'm going to share are ranges of our expenses so far. So we spend most of our money to rent. As you already know, we're, we are staying in a four bedroom unit in the hospital accommodation and I am paying 510 pounds every month and that includes bills. So in that 510 pounds, we are already paying for water, for electricity, Wi-Fi, council tax, and of course the um, furnitures and all the amenities of the hospital accommodation. And because my wife is a dependent, I am the primary tenant, she doesn't pay the rent, only I do. And this rent is automatically deducted from my salary every month, so I can't, you know, can't bargain with it. <laughs> Second highest expenses in my list is groceries. Typically, we spend about 200 to 300 pounds. It doesn't only include the food that we cook, but also the chips, snacks, chocolates that we bring to work for our breaks. Um, other supplies such as sugar, salt, <laughs> uh, the basic cooking ingredients and detergent, um, toiletries, toilet paper, uh, what else? And the occasional soft drink which my wife doesn't really like me drinking. Healthy. I think it's more than enough. You know, having a Tesco club card uh, saves us a lot of money. So we do our groceries once a week, usually during the weekends, either Saturday or Sunday, whichever is, uh, whichever, whichever day is not raining or whichever day is, well, we're both available. And Tesco is just 10 minute walk from the house, so we don't really spend anything on transportation or gas. Third is leisure. We don't usually go out because first of all, we're too tired to go out and we're not that young anymore. And to be honest, there's not a lot of places that you could go in Yeovil for leisure, aside from the Hollywood Bowling Center, the movie theater, see movie theater, cinema, whichever, and the, the park, and uh, the food places thing. We're not really the partying couple. We're both in our 30s, so it's so exhausting to go into these kinds of places. Not that type of people. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so our primary mode of entertainment is um, Disney Plus and Netflix, Amazon Prime. So my siblings and I are already sharing our account. So I pay for Disney Plus, they pay for Netflix. I have my own Amazon Prime. So Disney Plus subscription is eight pounds per month. My wife and I enjoy, you know, watching movies on our laptop. So that only costs eight pounds for Disney Plus subscription. Generally, you can watch a lot of things in Disney Plus. And my sister <laughs> shared with me her uh, Netflix account, so I've got it for free. So practically, it's free. We don't play sports yet, but maybe when summer comes, we can explore and uh, join the local gym or uh, whichever sport is popular here. I, I don't know. I'm not really a sporty person. My wife has been encouraging me to do some jogging and, you know, I've always been afraid that I could pass out. So I'm not really a healthy person. <sighs> Number four is um, eating out. So takeaways. If you are like us, that uh, we occasionally order from uh, restaurants, uh, we usually spend about 30 pounds to 60 pounds per month. We don't really um, order takeaways that often, only once or twice a month. So one order usually is between 
20 or if we're really hungry 30 pounds so we usually allocate 30 to 60 pounds for takeaways or food deliveries next is traveling so far we've only visited cities we've been to Bath once to Exeter maybe twice Bristol three times and of course London for example you love visiting London bus tickets only cost 20 pounds from here one way so going to and from London will cost you 40 pounds so last December we visited London um, after Mayoski and that was and that was not planned long enough so our train ticket was about um, 40 pounds each and that is only one way so that means return tickets were somewhere around 80 pounds per person but if you're lucky enough to book train tickets long way ahead of time you can get train tickets as low as 20 pounds i've recently discovered that bus tickets here in yeovil are um, way more consistent and way more cheaper than the train the only disadvantage of the bus is it only leaves yeovil twice a day so the advantage of the train on the other hand is that there's a train every hour that goes to london but the thing is the price could vary depending on the date that you booked or the demand for the train tickets. So we'll put a range of 40 to 80 pounds for travel. Next, shopping. So luckily, my wife and I don't really shop around much. We're not really obsessed with buying new things every now and then because we believe in comfort versus fashion. What? Uh, the thing is, we don't, we don't really buy lots of clothes. And for me, honestly, I only own like, what, 10 pieces of t-shirts and uh, three pairs of pants. I'm happy with it. I mean, I'm moving to the UK. I've realized that people just don't care what you look like. They don't mind what you wear. So why, why would I? Generally don't mind what I'm wearing as long as I'm comfortable and as long as it fits the occasion. So uh, I'll wear it. I'm a shirt repeater. Is that a word? So anyway, um, if for example, you let's say that you buy a shirt every month, shirts in the UK could get really cheap depending on where you look. Of course, you won't be buying for high-end uh, brands. Regular brands may cost you around 10 to 20 pounds if you're good uh, looking. My wife can even find shirts for five pounds. Me, I just, you know, I, I just pick up uh, a shirt from the rack and then if I see that it's comfortable and it suits me, I, I buy it. Um, let's say that you buy a pair of pants every month and a pair of pants may cost between 20 to 30 pounds. And lastly, um, shoes. You're not going to buy a pair of shoes every month, right? Let's say you only buy um, one pair every six months and a decent pair of shoes would cost you around 20 to 30 pounds. So you divide it with six because you only buy every six months. So that will give you five pounds per month. I don't know how you guys shop, but my wife and I, are, I would say that we're pretty frugal when it comes to um, shopping because we, we, love, we love new things, but you know, we're not really, not really into buying lots of things because first of all it's difficult to find spaces in the in the wardrobe or in the closet or in the cabinet and it's really uh, i don't like doing the laundry less is more huh what less is better and finally for all you fellas haircut definitely a man needs a haircut every month so so in my previous videos you've seen me you've seen my wife cutting my hair using using my clipper uh, the cheapest haircut in Yovo that I found is 10 pounds in other places for example in London they told me that haircuts could cost at least 30 pounds so yeah depending on where you live in the countryside generally things are cheaper so haircut 10 pounds so let's add that to the list so if I'm going to add all the expenses that I've mentioned that will give us a total of 925 pounds to 1160 pounds correct me if i'm wrong so the big question now is can you survive on a band 5 salary especially if you are a beginner if you start at the bottom of the band 5 will it be enough for you to survive in the uk uh, this computation again was based 
on me and my wife so I've taken the both of us into consideration considering that our salaries vary month to month depending on the number of phone calls and well well my wife just started so she doesn't have on calls yet but uh, just to give you an idea so my wife and I's combined salary monthly is between 2,800 to 3,300 pounds so if we subtract the range of the expenses that will leave us with 1,640 to 2,375 pounds and we usually keep uh, this amount for our savings and for our holiday funds and for emergencies as well. Yeah, so there we go. I hope I've shown you how expensive it is to live in the UK. So we aren't able to save much, but we are very much um, satisfied with the quality of life and with public service. Yeah, as I said before, I can't complain. I like living in the UK. Right, so if you like this video, please click like and subscribe and watch out for my other videos. Thank you for watching.